Hello Stampers, it's Debbie with Stamp It With Debbie. Here I am back at day five of the 12 days of Christmas. Each day I'm giving you a tutorial on a gift to give this holiday season to your friends, a for a secret Santa gift, co-workers, a service person. Today I'm using the Itty Bitty Christmas stamp set and this is in our holiday catalog at Stampin' Up. And I'm gonna be creating this little Santa pants box um, to hold some little treats. I have a Rice Krispie treat in it. It's two inches inside and two inches deep, so you would be able to get something else in there if you wanted to that's a little bit bigger, but this is what I'm putting inside because I think it looks really cute. So let's get started and I'll show you how to create this project. The supplies you need are a six by six piece of paper and I'm using real red. You're going to need a couple pieces of basic black cardstock. This one is cut at three quarters of an inch by nine inches long. These are also three quarters of an inch by about seven inches long, give or take a little bit because they're going to tuck down inside. You need a piece of whisper white that is one and a half inches by one and a quarter inches. A piece of the gold foil paper and that is cut at one inch by one inch. And then I have this little piece of black that's gonna be part of the buckle that's three quarters of an inch by half an inch. It's kind of a tiny little piece, but it adds a lot of uh, bang to the buckle there. So let's get started. We do need to do a little bit of scoring here. So I have my scoring tool and we're just going to, this might be the easiest one ever, score two inches all around. So just keep turning it and scoring on two inches on all four sides. And that's it. Now you do need a pair of paper snips and you will need a strong adhesive. So you're going to just cut up on these lines on two sides. I like to go on just the outside of that score line and then I like to cut that little piece off. It just makes it easier for putting the box together. You definitely don't have to do it. It just seems to make the box fold up a little bit better. Now you don't want to do it on all the sides. You want to do it on two opposite sides. So I'm going to move over here to the other side and again, cut that little triangle out. I hope that you all are enjoying the 12 days of Christmas tutorials. If you've missed any of them, you can always go back and watch the other ones anytime. So this is what we're left with. We do want to use our bone folder to burnish. As you're watching the videos, I really would appreciate if you would click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. I appreciate you supporting my channel. And leave me a comment. Let me know which one of these projects is your favorite, if you'll be using this project, what you'll be using it for. I say this um, over on my Facebook page, which if you're not part of my Facebook page, you can find me at facebook.com backslash stamp it with Debbie. I would love to have you over there. Go ahead and click the follow button so that you never miss a post. I do a lot of these projects and I like to give them out to service providers. So waitresses, people at my post office, the bank. When I'm out shopping during the holidays, people get so stressed and I just kind of watch for those people that look like they're at their wits end. And I like to give them a little treat and it really, really makes a difference. Um, if you haven't done it before, try it. It, you might feel a little nervous at the beginning or awkward like these people wouldn't want to treat, but once you see the smile on their face and the fact that you took time out to give them a treat, it makes all the difference in the world. Okay, so on the inside tabs here that fold inside, so it's going to look like this, you are going to put adhesive right on these two tabs. And then bring one of the back sides up to form the box. All right, and just hold it there <clears throat> long enough for the adhesive to 
stick down and now I'm going to do the other side. You want to make sure and get the edges so that the you don't have any of the flaps that are trying to get away on you. Okay, so this is what our box looks like so far. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Now we need to bring this side of the box up. So we're going to put adhesive on these two tabs. And this one I'm going to go ahead and put it on both. But if you feel more comfortable just doing it on one side at a time, that's perfectly fine too. So I'm going to bring them forward and just line it up how I see fit. And there's that part. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my stamping on this little white piece. Again, I'm using the Itty Bitty Christmas and there's a little stamp in here that says, Oh, what yum. And if you haven't seen this stamp set, it is fabulous. I'm going to be using it again. This is actually one of my favorites. This one here that says lots of love at Christmas. Um, from our house to yours, happy Christmas, thinking of you at Christmas, joy to the world, have a sugar sprinkled season. There's a to and from. So this is a really, really great stamp set to have. We're going to be using it again on another project. So watch for it. So I'm just going to stamp this. And hopefully, um, I stamped that down far enough. I'm going to put my ink away so I don't get it on myself. And I'm just going to put it right here. But before I hook that on, I want to double check that I might not have stamped it down far enough. Yeah, it's going to... Okay, well, that's the magic of video here. Got to do it again. And... I'm going to just do it down just a little bit further. Kind of towards the bottom of the box. That way, when you put the gold buckle on, it's not going to cover up your words. All right, now I'm ready to put this on. Just put a little adhesive. Decide which side I want to be my front. And I'm going to put it right in the middle, down towards the bottom. And again... Just hold the adhesive if you're using the liquid until it adheres on there. Now for this part here, what I like to do is decide where my front is. Now I did cut this at nine inches, so it's a little bit longer. You could figure out scoring every two inches, but sometimes your box gets a little skewed. And then when you go to put it on, the scoring doesn't quite work. So what I like to do is take it not scored, lay it on the front, and kind of do a little pinch all the way around. So now I'm gonna to work towards the other side. And then I'm going to take it off and then I'll actually, um, either with my bone folder or just pinch it down real good. And then you can put it on. So again, we started in the front I'm just going to test it again before I actually put my adhesive on there. Yep, it's good. But, so now this piece is ready. So we need to put the suspenders on. I wanted to tuck them back behind this black piece. So this one's ready to go. But I'm going to do the suspenders first. And I do just break up the fibers just a little bit. You can use your bone folder, but you want to be careful and not get them too curly. And... I'm just going to add a little adhesive, and for this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of tear and tape. And like I said, I did cut these at seven inches. They might be a little bit too long, so I'm going to test them out and see. Nope, I think that will be perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little piece of tear and tape right on the edge here. And on the edge over here. I'm going to do this on both of them so I can go ahead and place them both at the same time. And then just take the backing off. And 
and then I placed mine pretty close to that outside edge. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it's really well secured. Bring this one over. And now I can do the other side. And again, just bring that right to that outer edge. So you have a little bit of a red in the middle. It's not going to show once you get that black banner on. Okay, so there's there's that. Um, I think these suspenders might be a little bit taller. Now, the other thing is, I think that you could crisscross them in the back. I haven't tried it on this one, but I think that it would be pretty easy. In fact, let me... I know this is probably unconventional for a video, but um, I'm going to just pull that off real quick, and I'm going to see if it's pretty easy to crisscross these, and then that way you'll know too. Yeah, and I think that um, the Rice Krispie Treat will still fit in there perfectly. This band is going to still cover all of that, so perfect. Okay, so now I want to put adhesive on this, and this is kind of going around the whole box. So I think what I'm gonna do is put a little piece of tear and tape on each of the ends. And that will um, hold the beginning and the ending where it starts and it ends. And then I'm just gonna put little pieces all around because I don't want it to lift in any of the areas. So this is how I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to put tear and tape on all those little pieces. Now, if you're using fast fuse or if you're using liquid glue, I'll just put a little bit in those areas too, just to make sure that it's very well adhered. We never want our boxes or projects to fall apart because we shortchanged ourselves on an adhesive. Okay, so... Just making sure those suspenders where I took those off are really secured. I'm going to start in the front because that's where I started the box the first time. Oops. And then we're just going to move around and just keep it towards the top of your box. And then bring this side around as well. and just make sure that it's very well secured. Okay, and then the um, the next thing you need to do is take your piece of the gold, which is your buckle, and we're gonna go ahead and put that on, and I will put that on with tear and tape as well. And if you ever find that your tear and tape runs over on your project, all you need to do is just fold it back on itself and it will work perfectly fine. So then I'm going to put this right in the middle of the two suspenders, just like that. And then I need to put a little piece of tear and tape on that black part, whoops, on the black part that goes in the middle. I'll bring this one over so you can see this part here. and that's gonna go right there in the center. So there you are. Whoops, forgot to put my treat inside. Rice Krispie Treat fits perfectly inside of that. So there you are. Another gift to give for this holiday season. If you needed a little table favor, this would be perfect. And as I said, you could put Hershey Kisses, a bunch of Hershey Kisses in there, or if you had a little gift, you could also put it in there. So I hope that you enjoyed this project and I hope that you will join me again tomorrow for another day of gifts to give. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you again soon.